Hello, this is Vivek. Welcome to another video in a coding nature form series. In this video, I am going to work on a displaying success messages. And uh, here I am going to use a session flash data for displaying success messages. And let's see how we can use that with our coding nature applications. Here I am going to form controller. That's the only controller we have. And the view is our main view is form view. And we have header and footer, header and footer template views. I am going to work on form controller and form view. Here after doing the operations, we will set the success message. If it's an insert query or a sending email or any other operations. If it's an insert query, after getting the response, whether the query is successful or not, we will display the success message. For that, I am going to, for that, we will use a session flash data. This session. To use session, we need to load this library, session library. This session set flash data and uh, we'll load it with this name in our uh, views. We'll load this message and next the message. I'm going to add a bootstrap alert styling for that. I'm going to add a bootstrap alert styling for this message div class alert and alert success form submission successful and we'll close this div div block message form submission successful i have created this success message and we should load this message to load this message to load this message we should use this session flash data here I am using set flash data for setting message and for loading message. I am going to use just flash data and by calling with this name. And you can set any name you want. You can call it as success message or form success. Anything you want to call. I am just using form. Here I am going to open a PHP block and you can combine it in a single PHP block also. Echo this session. Flash data and the name is form. Okay, this is the handle name for loading this message, and everything should work as expected. And we will get one error that is, I am not loading this library session library. Let's submit the form with empty values of reloading the page. Here you can see. Undefined property session. So we should load this library. This load library session. After loading this session library, we shouldn't see any error messages. This error message is working. If I submit with empty values, these are all the errors. And if I submit with a complete form, first name, last name, email, gender, and age submit, form submission successful. That's fine. And here I want to delete this echo statements. I'll assign them to variables. F name. L name. Email. Gender. Age. That's fine. Let's submit the form once more. First name, last name, email, gender, age. Submit. Form submission successful. It's loaded successfully. After loading the page, this error, this success message is gone. Okay. 
in this video i am done with uh, displaying success messages and we are left with one more thing that is uh, displaying these values in a form and uh, selecting this radio buttons based on the submitted value and the select list i am going to work on this three tasks in next videos thank you for watching do subscribe to my channel if you have any questions please post it in comment section